Hello and greetings of the day. Welcome to yet another video of the gym management solution. I hope you have gone through the previous introductory uh, video. If not, please go through it to understand this video better. Here I will cover the members, the measurement history of the members, the trainers configuration and the trainer buckets. So let me begin with members. So this is the members dashboard. You can see I've added five. You can add n number of members you want. Let me open you, open one and show it to you. So this is one member I've added. You can add the photograph of the member. You can add addresses. You can add phone numbers, mobiles, email to keep them updated about your offers and everything. You can add the date of birth the age is calculated automatically you can add any internal note if you want if you, if you want to remember any particular thing for that member you can add the measurement history here i've added three months consecutively so this will help you to analyze what changes and towards what the member should be working to achieve the goal Pedometer. Pedometer is for the um, steps he has walked. You can store all the details here. And membership. Whether the member has enrolled to any of the membership in your gym. So these are the details. These are the personal details you can store about the member. Here you can have data about the trainer bookings. And active archive is, is the situation where you can keep the data saying that this person is with working with you or is in, is in your gym enrolled right now or is a past member or something so this is how you'll maintain the members let me show you measurement history measurement history i've done it for two members you can you can do analysis you can have the checkup of the measurements periodically like for a week for a month or two months or three months however you want it to be so i'm going to show you the fields for it you can add the member when you are doing the measurement the date of the particular measurement the height weight and as you've put in the height and weight the bmi and the bmr will be calculated automatically you can have the measurement of the different body parts like neck chest arms waist thighs calves etc and the particular unit of measure which you are using so this is how you will maintain the measurement history of your members similar to how you configure members you can uh, assign you can store information of your members sorry for trainers i've added three trainers here let me show you one so this is the information of harry white you can add the work address you can add the work email id and you can add the specialist type wherever he is specialist in so you can add multiple or even one for him i've added cardio trainer saying that he's a specialist in cardio trainer he can also be a specialist in personal trainer so you know when to assign this particular trainer to whom when okay. you can add all those private information here of the trainer the date the contact information the education if you want etc so let me show you the trainer booking trainer booking is when the members will book a particular trainer for a particular session or a particular uh, workshop you can say I've added two for the particularly for the first one the cardio workshop you can see the members that are attendees for the particular subject that is a cardio workshop you can add multiple from the drop down I've added the uh, trainer Harry White is a specialist in cardio workshop and the starting date of this workshop and the duration is it all day or is it for a few hours or something 
other options is the recurrent one. Recurrent means that are you repeating this workshop like every week or every two days or every month? So you can set the configurations accordingly. That's it for this video. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.